Charlie Chaplin was born Charles Spencer Chaplin in London on April 16, 1889, the son of a music hall singer. Chaplin's parents divorced when he was young, and his mother, Hannah, took in sewing to support the family. She suffered from mental illness and was hospitalized when Charles was seven. She was in and out of institutions throughout her life. Chaplin first appeared on stage at age nine, when he toured with a company whose cast included a contemporary of his named Stan Laurel. At 14, Chaplin received good notices for a part in the stage play, Jim, A Romance of Cockney, and earned another part that led to a year-long tour. He joined a group of performers known as the Carnot Troupe, where he once again worked with Stan Laurel. Chaplin toured the U.S. vaudeville circuit twice with Carnot, and after the second trip, he remained, finding work at Mac Sennett's Keystone Film Studio. Chaplin was at Keystone for a year and made 36 films. He also directed his first movie, 20 Minutes of Love. He was 25 years old. Over the next decade, Chaplin moved from studio to studio, turning out dozens of short films. At SNA, he made His New Job, A Jitney Elopement, The Tramp, A Night in the Snow, and The Immigrant. His output at Mutual included The Floor Walker, The Vagabond, The Pawn Shop, Behind the Screen, and The Rink. First National Films, which gave him the artistic control he had been seeking, released A Dog's Life, Shoulder Arms, Sunnyside, and his first full-length feature and biggest success to date, The Kid. Concerned that studios might monopolize the movie-making business, Chaplin and his friends Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford formed United Artists. His most famous films, including his sound pictures, were released through United Artists. These include The Gold Rush, The Circus, City Lights, Modern Times, The Great Dictator, and Limelight. Chaplin was honored for The Circus at the very first Oscar Awards in 1928. He received two more Oscars, one for the musical score to Limelight, and one honoring what the Academy described as the incalculable effect he has had in making motion pictures the art form of this century. Chaplin thought talking pictures were a fad, and his first picture, City Lights, contained no dialogue, only music and sound effects. Theater owners did not want to take a chance on the film, and Chaplin had to rent a theater to hold the premiere. Response was resoundingly positive, and the movie went on to enjoy huge success. Chaplin's first true talking picture was The Great Dictator, released in 1940. It caused a worldwide sensation and was the most successful of his 90 films. Chaplin, who was a British citizen, was the target of an investigation by the House on American Activities Committee. And while he was in Europe, following the filming of Limelight, the U.S. State Department revoked his visa and blocked the release of Limelight. When the government threatened to confiscate Chaplin's belongings, his wife Una liquidated their assets and renounced her U.S. citizenship. Several years later, Chaplin's star was removed from the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It was restored in 1972. Chaplin was married four times. His second wife, Lita Gray, was only 16 when she bore his two children. And during a contentious divorce, she went public with her side of the story in a piece called Wife of the Life of the Party collecting a settlement of $825,000. Following a brief marriage to film star Paulette Goddard, he wed 18-year-old Una O'Neill in 1943. The couple had eight children. Chaplin wrote two books, My Autobiography, published in 1964, and My Life in Pictures, published in 1974. Chaplin was knighted by Queen Elizabeth in 1975 and became Sir Charles Spencer Chaplin. He was quoted as saying of his life, I remain just one thing, and one thing only, and that is a clown. 
it places me on a far higher plane than any politician. Charlie Chaplin passed away on Christmas Day, 1977, at his home in Vevey, Switzerland. <laughs> 